In this video, I'll show you how to install PHP 7 and Composer on Windows 10 inside Ubuntu in the Windows subsystem for Linux. You can also install PHP 7 and Composer natively and use it with PowerShell and other tools inside of Windows, uh, but this way is a little better for those who are more comfortable in a Linux-like environment because you can run Ubuntu, and Ubuntu lets you install PHP and all these things pretty easily. So the first step is to make sure that you have the Windows subsystem for Linux enabled, and uh, you can go to the, the website with the install instructions from Microsoft. And after you have it enabled, you can download uh, whatever distribution you want. In my example, I'm using Ubuntu. Uh, Debian would work pretty much exactly the same with the same instructions. And once you have that set up, you can open a new uh, Ubuntu environment. And the first step is you need to update your apt cache to make sure that you have um, all of the latest, uh, all the latest uh, package information. Once that's done, you can install all of the common PHP extensions along with PHP itself, uh, also using apt-get. So here's the command for that. Once that's all done, then you can run php-v to make sure that PHP is installed and running. And you can see that it sees PHP 7.0.28. It's installed and working correctly. Uh, so the next step is we want to install Composer because uh, most modern PHP projects use Composer to build the project or add dependencies or manage dependencies and install things. Uh, so for Ubuntu, and most Linux distributions, uh, Composer recommends using this command. This is copied from the official instructions for downloading and installing Composer on the Composer website. And you could either copy and paste each command from there, or you can copy and paste this whole block of code, uh, which is basically one line in a block uh, that will run all the commands required to set up Composer. And once that's done, uh, to make it easier to use Composer, you can move the composer.far file into user local bin composer so that you can just run the command composer instead of saying php composer.far. So I'll do that. And now if I run composer, it should show me all of the composer help. And that's it. Uh, at this point, you can use PHP and composer inside the Windows subsystem for Linux Ubuntu environment, or you could use it with the exact same instructions with Debian. If you use one of the other Linux distributions inside of the WSL, then you'll have to modify the directions a little bit, install a few different packages, but it's pretty much the same process.